covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Seven minutes of terror captured on high-definition camera as NASA's Mars Perseverance made its descent to the red planet. I'll tell you all about it in a moment, but first, if you enjoy your weekly tech news with a slight Linux bias, become part of our fleet. Choose your rank at patreon.com slash category5. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click the bell, too, to catch the stories we cover each week. So, on with the story. NASA has released the first of its kind high-definition camera footage of the successful descent of its Perseverance rover to the Red Planet. Michael Watkins, director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Southern California said, Now we finally have a front row view to what we call the seven minutes of terror while landing on Mars. The mission teams at JPL were able to get 30 gigabytes of data back and more than 23,000 images of the rover making its descent to the surface. Perseverance plunged through Mars' atmosphere last week with a protective shell fitted with four cameras, firing rocket thrusters to slow down its descent as it approached the surface. One of the cameras was on the back shell and faced upward, another was on the descent stage, and the other two were on the sides. The combined views are absolutely stunning. Matt Wallace, Perseverance Deputy Project Manager at JPL, said in NASA's press conference on Monday, I think you will feel like you are getting a glimpse as to what it would be like to land in Yezro Crater with Perseverance. Yezro Crater is the location of a former lake from 3.5 billion years ago, which many hope will contain evidence for the existence of past life on Mars. The rover entered the atmosphere at a breathtaking speed of 19,000 kilometers an hour, and a supersonic parachute was then deployed, which slowed down the speed to 320 kilometers an hour. Here we see the heat shield being released and plummeting to the surface as the descent stage rocket slowed the rover's speed down to only 2.6 kilometers an hour. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second at an altitude of about 10 km, 9.5 kilometers above the surface. Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers of the surface. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. OPS valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Back shell set. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. At about 12 seconds before landing, the rover itself is lowered by cables 6.4 meters long by a complicated sky crane maneuver, and you can see the dust swirling up from the surface during the touchdown. About 20 meters off the surface. Once in landing position, the cables are cut, safely releasing the rover. We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. So the footage that we're seeing is real 
footage of Mars. Now we're actually seeing real high-res video as if, like, this is, like, from the movies. Like, mm -hmm. this is what we're used to seeing um, visual effects um, people put together for us to yeah. enjoy. But we're seeing the real thing, which, to me, I mean, some of you may think, oh, well, that's, you know, that, so they've stuck a camera on a rover and sent it to Mars. Well, this is huge because we grew up thinking about that Martian planet and thinking right. one day we're going to set foot on that. I didn't see Marvin, though. No, I didn't either, but they're looking. That's they right. are looking for traces of Marvin. That's right. Boy, oh boy. So cool. I'm, I'm floored about this. Like, yeah. This is like dreams coming true for all of us who grew up in that era where, you know, it's like, oh, one day we're going to see Mars and we're going to see it for real. Yep. The technology is so cool. And yeah. Becca kind of, you know, she tongue in cheek says it's the, the seven minutes of terror. And I wanted to just kind of briefly touch on what that means and why it's called that. And, and what we have to understand and remember is that Mars is really far away. Yeah. Really far away. So when the, when the rover is approaching Mars and is about to enter the atmosphere, what NASA is seeing on their feed is between about seven to 11 minutes delayed. Right. So as it hits that atmosphere and goes into this automation mode to, to do the landing that it needs to do, that they've programmed using tons of simulations and, and data and mathematics and, and all of this stuff is now taking place and they know this is happening right now, but we're not going to see it for another seven minutes. Right. So you, you oh don't know if goodness. it actually works. You want to speak about sitting on the edge of your seat after years and years of dreaming and planning and, and building and spending. Yes. Oh boy. So when that thing touched down and they got that feedback, I mean, seven minutes after it actually happened. Wow. Yeah. What a relief. And, and the fact that um, it was such a high speed that it was entering. 19,000 like, kilometers an hour. Yeah, and that it slows it down and it works so perfectly to the point that the platform is hovering. Yeah. <laughs> like it slows to 2.6 kilometers an hour, which I think is like walking speed. And then it just... Slower than that. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And then it just I hovers. I speed walk, Jeff. Well, you, yeah, okay. 14 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Clock me. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> You've seen me run into the bridge when something's not working. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's pretty fast. <laughs> 16 but the fact kilometers that it's an hour. <laughs> like, it's, it's using those thrusters to kind of float, then it releases through mm -hmm. cables. Like, that's some precision engineering and planning. And why right would there. they, why on earth are they, you know, because it looks exceptional, because it's so cool. No, because if the rover were to come down, it's going to be top heavy because this thing has flown through space to get there, right? right. So the fear is, is that as it hits the, the Martian surface, it could flip over. Yeah. And then we're done. Yep. So by building it this way, hovering from a platform and then lowering it down safely, they've basically completely negated the, the fear uh, or the flip. risk of it landing on its head yep. and flipping over when it hits that surface at whatever speed it hits. Yeah. So. Yeah. Or it's, even it's cool. things like like breaking the wheels off, or you know. Oh yeah, then you're you're something. toast. Yeah, so it's a very very controlled descent yeah. to the point where okay, boom, we're six meters up. Now we're gonna just lower it down softly. Yeah. Whew. That's so cool. So Love cool. It. Justin Mackey, Perseverance Imaging Scientist and Instrument Operations Team Chief, said. I had no idea that it would be this amazing. When I saw these images come down, I have to say I was truly amazed. I know it's been a tough year for everybody and we're hoping these images will brighten everybody's day. This is it, this is Mars. It really is the surface of an alien world. So what do you think about the latest rover touchdown on Mars? Are you eager to see more high resolution footage of the planet as the rover gets to work? Do you think any existence for alien life will actually be found? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. From the Category 5.TV newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson. Thanks for watching. <laughs>